Yeah, I mean, we was going to talk, hopefully, with Barry as well about yeah. this as well, but boxing needs well, to be on telly. Well, well we, we nearly had it, didn't we? You know, when Channel M come along, the Manchester yes, Channel, yeah. Yeah. and, well, and, and, and Mike, was, Mike yeah. Bradley was exactly the same as you. I mean, Mike Bradley did an absolute sterling job for... Uh, for Manchester, you know, everybody was on there, on the, the news, what was going on, you could tune into the, the M channel and you knew everything that was going yeah. on. Yeah. We had the boxing show on there, what was the name? Seconds Out, Seconds Barney, out. That Barney. That was very fun, great fun, I remember watching it myself. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant fun. You know, we had some in. belting times with... Michael Gomez, so <laughs> me, I was tuned in for that me, one. Me and Gomez <laughs> on there, we had, I mean, I, I remember one day being on there with Gomez and I actually got four words in <laughs> 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 before he thought you answered. him. But, was it, you answer, Yeah, but I mean, it, that, that, that brought it in, you knew exactly what was going on, where it was going on, and then because of one thing and another in the downturn, the recession, Channel M shut down. It was heartbreaking for the boxing yeah. fans that because the M Channel brought Manchester right to the front. Yeah. It was worldwide, yeah, people yeah, picking yeah, that up worldwide. Yeah. 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 We, you know, we, we need that again in yeah. Manchester. Yeah, yeah. you know, it's such a hotbed, Manchester. Oh, yeah. you know, as, a, as an Irish guy living in Manchester, you've got so it's like manna from heaven. There's so many shows on, there's so yeah. many gyms, great gyms, great fighters, great shows, and you know, even if you drive half an hour over to Huddersfield last week, yeah. it's all in this. You got yeah. Prize Fighter in Liverpool in two weeks. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just all here. You yeah. don't really, Manchester people don't really realise how lucky they are with yeah. regards to their raw materials yeah, yeah, that yeah. they have at their disposal. You know, yeah. Bobby and Joe Gallagher and Ernie, and you know, I could go on. You yeah, know, yeah, it's course, unbelievable. Yeah. It's a yeah. great, great place there for yeah. boxing. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's why we need to support the lads now, don't we? Because once, once it's all gone, oh, that's yeah. it, it's gone, you know what I mean? Yeah, I mean, it, it's like you, you normally get to know a fighter when he's at title level yeah. Yeah. and there's so much more interesting stuff coming, coming through yeah. it's all the best bits like, yeah, yeah, all yeah. the best bits are at the, the beginning trials and yeah. tribulations you know, yeah. you know, and, you know you meet these fighters and you think they're good kids and all of a sudden after about three or four weeks you, you realise that they're absolute raving lunatics yeah. <laughs> you know like him that young Kieran Farrell dearly me he just <laughs> shot off to Ireland last week not last week the week before he phoned me he said hiya mate you okay I said yeah he said I'm going to Ireland today sparring I went oh right okay so <laughs> yeah. and off he toddled to Ireland sparring yeah. You know, but, w w Willie Casey yeah, over there. Yeah, yeah Willie Casey, uh, Ocean there, yeah. Fagan, a yeah. couple of good amateur kids, but he loved it. And, and this is the kind of stuff you couldn't write. No. You know what I mean? All right, all right, Kieran, no worries. Like, off he went. And yeah. he comes back and he loved it and he, he had a good time, you know. It's, and, and they're all like that, you know. Yeah, all yeah. the kids that we have, all these kids, you know, if you get to know them early on, yeah. you, you know what they're really like. They're really and they're not, every one of them's a star in his own right, yeah, you know. Of course. You know, you don't get any real bad eggs in the job, you know what I mean? They're all proper good kids. Kids, you know what I mean, and you get to know them, and, and then the, if the public got to know them like we know them, you know, it, they'd be amazed yeah, by that's it. Why all. That's why. That's why. It's it's the background that people buy into and, and, and like it's the twenty four sevens you yeah. know that kind of thing yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, you know, that's that, why uh, everybody uh, loves uh, it you know yeah. I will, I won't get my wife to to watch a fight but I tell you what if there's a twenty four seven on She'll and she it. can buy into it she buys in it's like a soap opera for yeah. them yeah, yeah yeah and that's what boxing needs it needs the back the backstory because yeah. these guys are interesting yeah. you know they put it all on the line yeah. and and you know they're, they're such interesting characters because they're learning to do it who do the job exactly that they do you know you, yeah. you need to have a screw loose and it's yeah. it's interesting. Jo Johnny Cage sits outside my house at five o'clock. We don't go running till half five. We sit outside my house at five o'clock. What are you doing? I'm bored. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Driving up the wall, you know. It's not worse than getting up at half five and someone stood at your door raring to go. <laughs> yeah. You know, like with the hat on and everything like that. Running up and down on the spot, you think, what are you doing? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> okay, right, Leonard, just going back to uh, who can we look forward to in the next couple of weeks well, uh, from uh, Ireland? I have to say, got to, I've never been more excited. About a about a month coming up in all my life, and I mean that in yeah, all yeah. my life. Yeah. Then in the next in the next month and a month and a half coming, you know, we've had great times, but this is just it's the culmination of Irish boxing. It's the pinnacle. You got three guys going for either a world title or, or an interim world title, and you know, all of them are, on, are underdogs. Every one of them. But Irish guys love the underdog status. They mm. they actually they actually wobble and wilt when they're a favourite. It doesn't sit. They want to be the underdog because mm. they want to go in there. I'll prove you wrong. Yeah. See, so, so next week you got Willie Casey yeah. against Guillermo Rigondo. Like, who, like Willie Casey hasn't had ten fights in his career. Yeah, and he's fighting probably the best ever amateur to ever yeah, lace yeah. up gloves. Yeah. Both undefeated. Double Barcelona. Olympic champion Guillermo Rigondo, already a world champion. Yeah, and then you got Brian McGee over in Canada going to fight Lucien Beauté. Like he's uh, he's up against it, but he's yeah. going to go there and he'll, yeah. he'll give it to. And you got Paul McCluskey fighting the American in Manchester. Yeah. Five thousand Irish fans coming over already, yeah. Yeah. and that's not including the Irish guys that have bought tickets over here. Yeah, but. Uh, oh. 
they've they've got a shop over there in Don Given. There's been queues around it. They've been selling the tickets from the shop. Fantastic. The queues around the corner. The yeah, place yeah. is gone bananas. It's it's, it's the Fantastic. most exciting time for so Irish boxing in living memory. Going back to McGuigan or whatever. Yeah, it's yeah, unbelievable. Yeah. Brilliant. brilliant. Can't wait, me. Yeah. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, the last question I've got for you today. You are going to stick around for all, all, oh, you know, all, all show, obviously. But the last question I've got is if people are wanting to get in touch with you, or if you want to look at the website, you got the details. Yeah, yeah. You can, it's boxing-ireland.com. So you can always get us on there. It's just Google search box in Ireland or Irish boxing and we're the top top on that and also you can get me at editor at boxing-ireland.com anytime brilliant right okay lads what we're going to do then I enjoyed that chat then cool. really informative what we're going to do we're going to take a break and then hopefully we're going to be speaking to Barry McGuigan in a few minutes before we go for a break though the nickname game which boxer was known as the executioner I'm sure he's know that in the studio and uh, an extra clue for the whom I, I was born on February 4th 1973 in, in Montebello California I won a gold medal at 1992 Barcelona Olympic Games and the third clue I defeated 17 world champions and won 10 world titles in 6 different weight classes so if you know them like I say info at maineventboxingshow.co.uk they're just for fun we have got 2 tickets to give away though. I'll give the competition question now got 2 tickets to give away to the prize fight the 23rd of March is anyone going? yeah I'm definitely yeah, going, going, yeah. going yeah. it's going to be unbelievable it's going to be great yeah they've got likes of Tony Quigley Robin Reed, Carl Dilks Adrian Dodson you know what I mean so it's going to be a belt up but if you want to enter yourself in the competition to win yourself 2 tickets all you've got to do is tell me which of these boxers has Robin Reed faced in his career the answers are A. Joe Lewis B Joe Calzaga or C Joe Bugno and that is open to the air uh, to the podcast <laughs> podcast listeners as well. I'm going to run that till about Friday because it is on a Wednesday night. So if you do enter, make sure that you can get to Liverpool on a Wednesday night. To get involved with that, all you need to do is email the answer to info at maineventboxingshow.co.uk. Okay, we're going to take a break. This is a bit of a Damien Marley, and then we're back on the phone with Barry McGuigan. This is the main event. <laughs> 